What is going on, you two people? Northeast Ohio Sports Cards here for the weekly NBA market update playoff edition. And we have a lot of movement this week. A lot of players going way down and a lot of players seeing pretty good spikes. I think the nebulous nature of this playoff market and the fact that no one really knew who the hell was going to make it to the finals. And we still don't know that, but we have some clarity now. So I think people are getting a little bit more bullish with their dollars. Uh, and you're starting to see price movements reflect that. But for the guys that have been eliminated, who boy, their prices have been going down hard. This is some of the biggest changes I've seen in the four weeks. I've been doing this on players moving on and exiting the playoffs. So someone in the comments a week last week asked about looking at guys that have been long gone from the playoffs and how their prices are holding up. And I am going to do that. I think I'll do that middle of the week next week sometime. Do a deep dive into, you know, De'Aaron Fox, Sexland, RJ Barrett, uh, Carl Anthony Towns, like those types of guys. Uh, that have been, you know, didn't even either either didn't make the playoffs or have been eliminated for a while now. You know, maybe look at like a 60 day view uh, and kind of see like, are those guys starting to get to the bottom or are they still falling as well? But for the purposes of this, we will be digging into players that recently exited or are moving on using market movers link in the description down below, along with the coupon code. If you want fancy charts and graphs yourselves. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. So smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Let's rock and roll. Donovan Mitchell. Rip my Donovan Mitchell buy back in April. Uh, he got, this is the biggest hammering I have seen out of anybody. This is over the last seven days. His PSA 10 prism is down 37% in seven days. It dropped from $343 to $216. Wow. His other stuff has dropped, but not as much. His optic is down 15% to $150. And his select concourse is down 13% to $180. But man, did that prism take a freaking beating. Holy hell. A 40% drop. So... You know, I have the one prism and the two optics. I'm going to ride it out. I'm definitely not selling now. I would maybe move the optics in a trade or something for something else. But at this point, we're just going to weather the storm and see if prices remotely get back. Odds are I probably am going to have to wait till the next year's playoffs to meet those prices again for his base prism to get north of $400 would be my guess. Anyways, who knows? You could get traded. That could spike it. I don't think that's going to happen, but. Yeah, Mitchell taking a beating. A beating. And at 200 bucks, I mean, whatever. I already have some. Maybe I'll buy more. That just seems like the hate has gone too far too fast. You know, off eBay, you could probably get one for under 200 bucks. That just seems insane. It's only pop 4,200. That's a lot, but it's not a lot, if you know what I mean, especially compared to some other players. So. You know, the ankle injury killed him. The Conley injury killed him. They probably still should have beat the Clippers. I don't know what the hell happened with that team. I was very disappointed in them. Uh, Mitchell shredded them the first game and the second game. And then I just think the ankle flared back up and toast is what it is. You win some, you lose some, but I still do believe in the player. So we will see what happens with him. But by far the biggest hit I've seen just in the last seven days on his stuff. Uh, Embiid also taking a nosedive, 28% drop in the last seven days. I, I, I keep checking because some of these I ran back a little further than seven days on some of these players. Uh, Embiid, PSA 10, down to $400. This is another one you want to talk about buying the dip on somebody. Uh, depending on how low this gets, this would be an interesting play. Dude almost won the MVP this year. Let's not forget that. Yeah, there's major health concerns. This is a pop, basically a 1100 card and a PSA 10. Uh, let this thing keep falling and I would be willing to jump in. I don't have a particular number in mind, 
but he will be on the short list for MVP next season. LeBron's not getting any younger. AD can't stay healthy. Uh, the Joker's still going to be there. You know, you'll have Luka if the Mavs can put together a good winning record. Curry will be on the list. KD will be on the list. All those guys. But all of them have some injury question marks other than maybe Luka. But Embiid was absolutely ridiculous this season. He got stuck with Ben Simmons on his team. What can you say? So depending on where this got to, this would be intriguing. You know, at under $400, and I think this is going to keep going. This is just kind of like the tip of the iceberg. Um, but I have to imagine this drops even more. Uh, that seems crazy for a 2014 Prism card. But maybe, you know, you know, I say it seems crazy, but maybe I'm just not in the mindset of, you know, the new world that we live in in regard to basketball prices. Maybe that's where it should be. Maybe it should be even less than that. I don't know. It's hard getting out of that mindset of what's cheap and what's a good deal when you're used to playing with a different set of rules from the last six to ten months. Um, and now all of a sudden are things back to March prices again, like last year or, you know, like what's, what are we doing? I don't think we all know. So we're just all taking our best guess, but if Embiid gets cheap, it's an interesting play, even for his base prism. Cause it's very low pop or low pop, not very low pop. Oh, Ben Simmons, how you vex me. One of my worst buys ever. Ben Simmons optic PSA 10 bought last year during the bubble. And then two days later, he hurt his knee. And it has never gotten close back to those prices. And it never will. I lost my ass on that card. Uh, his optic is base actually stayed flat this week at $75, which is surprising. Only seven sold. But his prism dropped 25% down to $150. Listen, he looked like crap. He looked as bad as you could possibly look. There's a decent chance he gets traded. Depending on where he gets traded to, uh, he could see a price bump just off the trade news alone and the hopes, the wishes, and the dreams of the new team. I'm not saying it's a smart play. It's a play. It's risky. He could not get traded. Uh, and Maybe they work things out and he puts up numbers last year, but there are, in my personal opinion, there are way better guys to put money into than Ben Simmons. However, once things get so cheap, you know, Everything looks a little interesting. Like if this card got sub a hundred bucks or something crazy like that, it would be really hard to pass it up. 2016 Prism. This is only pop 1300. Uh, not very many at all there. KD continues to slide, though not quite as hard. Well, his nine slid a little harder. Uh, and this is actually going back. Yeah, seven days on this one too. PSA 10 down to 4K, down 10% on the week. PSA 9 down to 1,000. 25% drop on the week. And I actually saw a couple, these have been floating a little bit. Like I saw a couple go for around 950. I also saw some go for around 1050, hence averages out to a thousand. Uh, but you could probably definitely find someone selling one of these for sub a thousand off eBay. If you really look, uh, this is a card that's on my list uh, of things that I am potentially interested in picking up on the dip. In my opinion, if that team is healthy, they are the front runner next season by a mile for the NBA championship. And KD looked like the best player in the league. Uh, it's not his fault that Harden blew out his hamstring and Kyrie twisted an ankle and is a head case. There still could be some of that next year, but they'll have a full season, full training camp, off season to tweak the roster. They'll be one of the destinations for all the old guys to go to on uh, minimum deals and all that crap for the ones that don't go to LA. The other ones will be going to Brooklyn. So, you know, getting in on KD on the air quotes dip is seems like a good idea to me, especially on his Chrome lower pop card. PSA 10s 960, PSA 9s 1500. You put them together, that's only 2,500 cards between the two. And I prefer the Chrome over the base paper, unless it's the black. Uh, that's a super tough grade, and those go for a decent chunk of change. Personally, I would probably still take the Chrome over that just because I think it's a better looking card. Um, very condition sensitive. So KD definitely on the list of dip potentials. Let's talk about guys going up. Trey freaking young. Whew. What a game one. And oh, by the way, I should note, I am recording this prior to game three of Suns uh, Clippers on Thursday night. Chris Paul is back, but that game has not happened yet. I assume they'll go up 3-0 with Chris Paul back. We'll see. Clippers haven't clippered yet. They've been proving my theory wrong. Um, but Trey Young, 
one of the biggest rises we've seen out of him across the board. Uh, all his stuff is creeping up to some varying degrees or others. His base optic is up 13%. Prism base is up 20%. Select concourse, 30%. Court side up 15%. And premier level stayed flat. Um, so basically, on average, about a 18 to 20% bump across the board uh, on his stuff, on his base level stuff. Base prism back up over 300, up to 350. Uh, good sign to see. And, I mean, obviously they won game one. I think they have a legitimate shot to make the NBA Finals. I really do. I really do. Trey Young is a problem. He looks amazing. Uh, I'm really torn on what to do with the scope card that I got, the premium box PSA 10 that I showed in the video the other day. Uh, I would like to potentially move that, but I really think they're going to make the finals. Uh, and I got into that card fairly cheap anyway, so I might get a little bit risky with that and just roll with it. I don't have a problem holding that in the next season. Here's the best part about the Hawks. They don't have their second best player. DeAndre Hunter, in my opinion, is their second best player. At least he was all season. He's not even there. So this team going into next season... I understand like the Nets weren't their full form, but they could easily have injury issues again next year. That's like not off the table and the Hawks approved. They are legit good. And then put DeAndre Hunter back on this team. And maybe you could salvage something out of Cam Reddish teams. Very, very deep and very, very talented. And that's their team. Like their core is pretty locked up. Trey Young's not going anywhere. Bojan's not going anywhere. I don't think Alan Ari's going anywhere. Reddish and Hunter are both cheap. Uh, Capella's locked up. Collins is the only real question mark, but I have to imagine they would bring him back when you're in the Eastern Conference Finals. Why would you change anything? Uh, and to get a full season out of Hunter on that team would be a big deal, I think, in my opinion, because uh, he was really good this year. I was not high on him coming into the season, but boy, did he prove me wrong. So we will see what happens with there. Looking at his other stuff, I pulled his silver and his optic hollow. These are way up. Uh, so this is a case where the higher pop stuff is going higher faster than the base level. You know, we did the video the other week about the crashing stuff all crashing back at the same rate. It does seem like the higher end stuff is moving up faster. Uh, so that's a little bit of an inverse from what we saw in that video last week. Uh, Trey Young Optic Hollow, PSA 10, up 27%. And Silver Prism, up 40%, uh, up to $2,000. Optic Hollow, up to 1400 that Optic Hollow Pop 154. Optic Hollow PSA 10s are no joke. We're going to talk about them again in a minute. Um, but if you're ever looking for a low number parallel, odds are Optic Hollows are your guy. They are extremely tough grades and sexy looking cards. So Devin Booker. He is kind of flattened out for the week. He's up 11% on the week overall, 875 to 975. Uh, he actually peaked up at 1100 on the triple double, and he's come back down slightly after getting his nose smashed in the other night. I don't know if that's why his card prices are dipping, uh, but he has pulled back a little bit. Interesting. They're definitely going to the NBA finals. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm, I keep jinxing myself by saying this against teams and the Clippers keep winning. I just don't see how the Clippers come back from 0-2 with Chris Paul coming back. Uh, and Devin Booker is in line to win an NBA title. I would 100% take them against the Bucs. Not even close. I don't think the Bucs... I don't even know what's going on with the Bucs. I want to say they're not very good, but they have talent. I think their coach is just terrible. Uh, I think that's a lot of their, their problems right now. Uh, but Booker PSA 10 kind of flatlined, not flatlined. It is up 10% overall, uh, but I have a feeling this is going to creep back up. It's probably going to stay kind of up and downsies, uh, but if he has a big blowout game or once they lock in, I could see this creeping back up again. Uh, if you are looking for one, they are available on star stock still for cheaper. There is one left at $900, uh, which is a fair. That's actually like a perfectly fair price because a 975 best offer buy it now. Uh, the seller is going to net out about the same on a eight ninety nine star stock sale because you only lose five percent fees on star stock versus um, fifteen or thirteen percent on eBay. There were the ones that were even cheaper. There were some low seven hundreds. I bought two of them. Uh, I already sold one for a hundred dollar profit. The other one I'm holding on to. Um, 
I may look to move it between rounds or I may just have it sent home and hold on to it. I don't have any Booker cards and I think they have a decent chance to win an NBA title. So I think that elevates him to kind of a new level. So I would basically be into it for like 650 bucks because I bought one and sold one already. If you kind of math out like, hey, I bought two, I sold one for $100 profit. So I'll knock $100 off the cost of the second one type deal. So for that price, I may just have it shipped home. I don't have any of his stuff. I think it could be good trade bait for the national, especially if they will win the title. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one, but Booker's an intriguing play. This is, you're getting to the time like, and I'll probably talk about this in its own video. Just because someone wins an NBA championship does not mean their card prices are going to go up. In fact, there's a decent chance that they go down. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe it does to you. Uh, but we saw it last year. Uh, I think I'll do uh, that. I think that kind of deserves its own 10 to 12 minute chat. So I don't want to completely derail this, but um, if you're looking to move out of this stuff, probably in between rounds is your best bet between the Eastern, between the semifinals and the NBA finals actually starting, I think is when you want to move most of this stuff. Uh, If you are looking to quote unquote, sell at the peak. Uh, speaking of the Suns, let's look at DeAndre Ayton. Had that absolutely amazing alley oop play the other day. Has been the player that has impressed me the most of this playoffs. Not even close. Uh, his optic hollow, once again, optic hollow again, pop 93 on this. Up 150%. These got down to $77. How the hell did I miss that? Uh, and up to now 200 on his optic hollow. PSA 10 Prism Silver up 35%. From 250 to 340. Uh, Pop 1400 on that one, but I did not realize these got down to $80. Someone got a steal on that at $77 in an Optic Hollow 10. So here's the graphs on those. Uh, His stuff, like I said, he's been playing absolutely out of his mind. Uh, Been the player that has impressed me the most by far. Him and Trey Young are the two that have impressed me the most by far. And the 2018 draft class, man. What an absolute mother load of talent. Chris Paul, interesting one here. His PSA 10 actually dipped down 12% on the week. The nine is up 20%, but the nine was a little too cheap to begin with. This is more in line of where it should be, about 3x, 400 to 1250. So that's kind of lined up with itself. I don't know if people were taking a little bit of a dip on this because he had COVID. Now, he's one that if he wins the NBA title, his stuff could go up and stay up uh, because he's regarded as one of the best point guards of all time. And now he would have the ring under his belt. I mean, he's already a clear cut NBA hall of famer. This would just add on top of that legacy and his stuff's pretty hard to get. This is his tops Chrome base. PSA 10s pop 240 PSA nines pop 259. So that's only 500 cards between the two grades. That is not a lot. So, Interesting one if you're a big CP3 fan, if you think they can win the NBA title, maybe you can move it for a profit, but I wouldn't necessarily mind this as just a longer term buy it and forget it type thing. Maybe you could get it cheaper in the offseason. Like I said, there's a decent chance all this stuff dips after the NBA finals are over, regardless of win or loss. So we will see what happens. Last one, Giannis, uh, his stuff took a big bump up. Now, I am recording this on Thursday. So it's not like a lot of his stuff has moved Wednesday into Thursday. I will be curious to see what happens between now and say Sunday's video because they lost game one and we will have a game two under our belts by then. And if they lose that one, then his prices could come right back down again. But them getting past the nets definitely caused his stuff to spike and spike a lot. Uh, His PSA 10 base hoops, one of my favorite looking cards of his uh, is up. 70% on the week from 400 bucks to 700 bucks. His PSA 10 prism is up 55% from 1200 to 2000. And the select is up 845 to 958, a 10% increase. Now the select was hit the least hardest during the dip. So it kind of makes sense that it wasn't the highest spiking going back up again, I'm not necessarily running to buy a Giannis on the spike. I don't know that the Bucks win that series. And I will be very curious to see how far his stuff falls if they get bounced. Uh, maybe they end up winning the series and move on. There's, there's still definitely a decent chance of that. 
Uh, but the Hawks are definitely a problem. So Trey Young is just unleashing himself on the league in this postseason. So that's all I got for you guys and girls today. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. My plan is Saturday morning, probably around 10 a.m. I will try to post this well ahead of time uh, to go live. I have two boxes of X-Men Marvel Metal left uh, with two more on the way. I actually ended up ordering two more. So I'm going to rip those Saturday morning live. So we're going to go live Saturday morning for a little bit, probably around 9 or 10 a.m., little Saturday morning cartoons, and rip these last two boxes of X-Men that I have live uh, and see how we can finish up with what I got. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and we will catch you tomorrow morning for a live box break. Peace.